Hi, this is Stan Lyle with Master Math. During the lesson, you're going to come to some You Try It slides where you're asked to do problems that relate to the lesson. Hit your pause button, try the problem, and then hit the forward key to move on to the answer. I hope you have a really good time today. Today we're going to be talking about estimating with percentages. And it may be helpful for you to remember that for every percentage, there's an equivalent fraction. Every percentage has a fraction that, that basically means the same thing. For instance, 10%. Well, 10% is the same thing as one-tenth. And 10% and one-tenth look the same if you create like a bar graph here to show what 10% is. The red is 10% of the whole bar graph. In other words, it's a fairly small amount. It's, uh, it's one-tenth of the, the whole thing. Well, how about 25%? 25% is equivalent to one-quarter. And one-quarter of that bar graph goes in that red area, and it's one-fourth of the whole bar graph. If you saw that bar graph and you saw that much of it red, hopefully you could look at that and say, well, that's less than a half, and it's about half of a half, so it's a quarter of the bar graph. It's 25% of the bar graph. Well, how about 50%? That's an easy one. 50% is the same thing as one half. And in the bar graph, we've colored in one half of the bar graph. How about 75%? That's an easy one too. 75% is the same thing as three quarters. And we've co colored in three quarters of the bar graph. Well, how about these two? 33.333. Now you see I just put a whole bunch of threes there because it's really 33.3 repeating. Those threes repeat forever. And that's equivalent to one third. Well, I don't have a bar graph in there, but I've got a nice little pie chart here that will help you see graphically what that means. One-third, or 33%, is one-third of this pie chart. Well, how about 66.6 .6 repeating percent? That's two-thirds. Well, you see, we took this pie chart and we broke it into thirds. And that was one-third, or 33%. Two-thirds would be one two-thirds, or 67%. All right, well, let's try some visual estimations of percentages. For instance, I've got a pizza pie here. What percentage of this pizza pie would you estimate has been removed? Well, I'd do it this way. I'd say, I'd divide it into four pieces, and I'd say that the, each of those four sections were a quarter, and what I've taken out is something less than a quarter, something less than 25%, so I might estimate that at 20%, or I might see that there's six slices all together in here, and I'd say it's one-sixth, there's 16, 17%. Well, how about this one? This is a little harder. I got all these boats in the marina. What percentage of them are sailboats? Well, I'd kind of say how many boats are there, and then I'd count masts and figure out about what percentage were sailboats. This one's easy. What percentage of the middle bottle has blue fluid in it? Well, it's half, or 50%. How about this one? What percentage of the marbles are white? Well, you, again, you're just kind of guessing. I mean, it's, it's not half of them. It's... Uh, it looks to me like there are about as many dark blue and light blue and clear marbles. as the, They're all about the same number, so I'd say a third of them, or 33%. I went to Ohio State University, so I like this one. This is a picture of the stadium a couple of years ago when Ohio State played Oregon in the Rose Bowl. And what percentage of those fans are Ohio State fans? Well, Ohio State fans were red, and that's all red there, and there's just some red there, and maybe some red up here. So I'd say that something more than half, or maybe 55% of those fans are Buckeye fans. 
Well, let's try this one in your head. I've got a circle graph or a pie chart there without any divisions in it, and I want to know what would represent 66% of that pie chart. What would represent two-thirds or 66% of that pie chart? In your head, kind of figure out what portion of that pie chart you'd paint red, which is, and I want to make the red portion 66% of the total pie chart. Can you figure that one out? Well, here's something that may help you be able to do that. If you think about breaking that pie chart up into segments, then you can think about how many of those segments it would take to get to your desired percentage, which in this case was 66%. On this pie chart, I've broken the pie chart up into 10 segments. There's half. Half are over here, and the other half are over here. So that would be 50% of the pie chart. If I go one more segment, that would be 60% of the pie chart. And we want 66%, so it's going to be like two-thirds of the way into that gray section. So I would say that that is about two-thirds of the pie chart, which would mean that that is about one-third of the pie chart. Well, sometimes we're not dealing with visualizations, we're dealing with actual numbers, and, and here's an example of one. What if you had to estimate what 9% of $145 was? How would you do that? Well, how about this? You could round the 9%, which is hard to multiply by, hard to see, you could round it up to 10%, which is a nice even number. And 10% of $145 is one-tenth of $145, or 0.1 times $145, which is $14.50. 50 cents. 10% of 145 is much easier to figure out than 9% of 145. But 10% of 145 is going to be a little bit bigger than 9% because we rounded the 9% up to 10%. So this answer, this estimate, is going to be higher than the actual answer for 9% of 145. Well, how about this one? 21% of 145 pigs. How would you figure that out? Well, how about this? Let's round the 21% down to 20%, but to, because 20% is a nice, easy number. And then let's round the 145 pigs up to 150 pigs, because again, that's a nice, round, easy number. Now, hopefully you can figure out what 20% of 150 pigs is. 20% equals 0.2, or one-fifth, and one-fifth of 150 is 30 pigs. So 30 pigs is an estimate of what 21% of 145 pigs would be. Now, the actual answer is 21% converted to a decimal, 0.21, times 145 pigs. The actual answer is 30.45 pigs. So our 30 pigs is pretty close to 30.45 pigs. It's a pretty good estimate. And one of the reasons it's a good estimate is because we rounded this percentage down and we rounded this number up. And if we round the percentage up and the number down or the percentage down and the number up, we're going to get a pretty good answer. If we round both of them up or both of them down, there's going to be a lot more rounding error. Now you try this one. Hit the pause button, do the problem, and then hit the forward key to move on to the answer. Thirty-nine percent of forty dinosaurs. Well, let's round that thirty-nine percent to a nice even number like forty percent. And then forty percent of forty equals point four times forty. And 0.4 times 40 is 16. 
Now, you may have a little trouble doing 0.4 times 40 in your head, and I'll show you a trick that I use to get 0.4 times 40. There's only two numbers here, 4 and 4. So I know that 4 times 4 is 16. Now the only question is, where do I put my decimal point? Well, one way to figure out where your decimal point would belong is to estimate that. 0.4 times 40 equals approximately 1 half times 40, and 1 half of 40 is 20. So I know, I know my answer has to be pretty close to 20. It couldn't be 1.6. If I put my decimal point right there, I'd have 1.6, and that's a long way from 20. It couldn't be 160. If I put my decimal point over here and added a zero, the answer would be 160, and 160 is a long way from, from 20. But 0.4 times 40 equals 16. 16 is very close to 20. So 16 is your estimate of 40% or of your estimate of 39% of 40 dinosaurs. Try this one. Hit the pause button, do the problem, and then hit your forward key. Approximately what percentage of the Canadian flag is red? Well, how do I figure that one out? Well, here's how I'd do it. I'd first look at the, at the whole flag here, and I'd look kind of at the bottom of the flag. And what I see is that that red portion seems to be about a one-quarter of the whole uh, flag's uh, width, or 25% of that width. And that red portion seems to be 25%, which would leave about 50% in the middle that's mostly white. And I can kind of see that that, if I did that twice in there, it would pretty much equal that white portion. So that white portion is twice as big as either of those red portions. So I'd say 25% is red, 25% is red, and 50% is either red or white. Now, let's look at this portion that's both red and white. And this is getting, this, you're just guessing at this point, or making an educated guess. What portion of that uh, white portion is red? And I, you know, that's hard to guess. I mean, it could be, it's not as big as a half, but it could be a quarter. So a quarter is a reasonably good guess. So I'd say that the red portions of the flag are this 25%, plus this 25% plus one quarter or 25% of that white portion. So I'd add 25% plus 25% plus one quarter of 50%. And that equals 25 plus 25 equals 50% and one quarter of 50% equals 12.5%, so it equals approximately 62%. I didn't put 62.5% because that implies a lot more precision than you've really got there. So you're just going to, it's an estimate, you just want to be close. And 62%, you could even say 60%, and that would be a good answer. True or false, if you round both the percent and the number up, your estimate will be smaller than the actual number. False. That's not true. If you round the percent down and make it a smaller number, and you round the number down, making it a smaller number, if I multiply two, two numbers that are smaller times each other, then the answer is going to be smaller. For instance, if I multiplied 1 times 1, I get 2. If I multiply 2 times 2, I get 4. If I take these numbers and make them bigger, then my answer is going to be bigger. If I take these numbers and make them smaller, then my answer is going to be smaller. Well, that finishes our lesson on estimating with percentages, and I, I hope you learned a whole bunch. Now let's go find out how much you learned. Go to www dot mastermath dot info and find the worksheet under sixth grade second quarter for estimating with percentages print it and test your skills there 
Then you can go back to mastermath.info and find the quiz on estimating with percentages and try that. And be sure to come back to mastermath.info soon to learn even more about math.